As the 14th season of Gold Rush progressed, people who were paying attention observed that Parker Schnabel was missing a substantial portion of his personnel. It is with great sadness that we must inform you of the demise of Dozer, Parker Schnabel's cherished black lab. Our hearts are heavy as we relay this news. Parker shared a photo gallery of Dozer, along with a poignant statement on Instagram, in order to make the announcement of the devastating news. Parker wrote, Well, Dozer has decided to pass away. He was always there when someone needed to cheer up, normally me, and he always had a toy and a wagging tail, Parker affectionately recalled. He was always looking for someone to cheer up. According to Parker's release, Dozer, who was just nine years old, which is a relatively young age for a lab, went away quietly. It is possible that he suffered a heart attack or an aneurysm, as stated in the news. They had a great friendship that lasted for nine years and helped them overcome a lot of obstacles together. The passing of Dozer signals the end of this magnificent relationship. During the 14th season, fans will be saddened by the disappearance of Dozer, but they will always treasure the memories they have of this devoted and joyful canine companion. Parker's announcement was met with a poignant reply from the Gold Rush Instagram account, which read as follows. A wonderful companion and the finest mind pub one could hope for. His presence will be much missed. A second person who expressed their condolences was Christo Doyle, who is also the host of The Dirt and the executive producer of Gold Rush. Jesus, this is the most devastating news I've ever heard, he said. Please accept my deepest apologies. It doesn't get any more difficult. Dozer, the beloved canine friend, has been the subject of Gold Rush fans' attention on the famous Discovery show for almost a decade now. On the other hand, what else is there to learn about him? As a result of a previous post on Instagram, followers discovered that Dozer's birthday was on March 27. This means that his death occurred around the time when he would have turned nine years old. In accordance with the official page for Discovery Gold Rush, Dozer was a Labrador and German Shepherd mix that was just beautiful. Parker received this adorable dog as a gift from a friend who lives in Haines, Alaska, which is Parker's hometown. Throughout the course of the series, audiences were able to watch Dozer's pranks which included everything from chasing sticks to examining gold weigh-ins. The fact that he was so much more than just a Team Schnabel mascot was demonstrated by the fact that he courageously drove a bear away from the campground. In addition, fans have a general idea of the time period during which Parker welcomed Dozer into his life based on their observations. On June 11, 2014, Parker posted a picture of a young Dozer and introduced him as our newest addition to the crew, Dozer. The photo was released for the first time. Parker was able to count on Dozer's support throughout the ups and downs of the gold rush. A great number of admirers adore Parker's journey of coming of age, and Dozer was a consistent presence throughout the entire process. This individual was present for Parker's interactions with his cherished grandfather, John Schnabel, and provided him with encouragement and direction. During the time that Parker was involved in a romantic connection, Dozer was also present and Ashley Yule, who was Parker's ex-girlfriend at the time, took a number of photographs of him. Because of his consistent presence, Dozer became an indispensable component of Parker's narrative, and he left an indelible mark on the hearts of Parker's supporters. By virtue of his appealing presence on the show, Dozer brought delight to viewers all over the world. He was more than just a buddy. He was a devoted and cherished part of the Gold Rush family. Not only did his lively attitude and unflinching loyalty leave an unforgettable impression, but he will also be fondly remembered by everyone who knew him, whether they were on screen or off screen. As we go through this trying time, may the loving memories we have of Dozer provide us solace. May he rest in peace, leaving behind a legacy of love and joy for those who inherit his legacy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button 
and give this video a thumbs up. Parker Schnabel, a well-known figure in the field of gold mining and a cherished character on the reality television show Gold Rush, has never failed to share with his followers both the successes and the difficulties that he has encountered throughout his life. Nevertheless, we're going to delve into a more significant part of Parker's life today, which is a reflection of the relationship that exists between him and his devoted companion, Dozer. The glimmer of gold is not the only thing that this narrative touches upon. It also touches upon the unconditional love and silent understanding that is shared between a man and his dog as they part ways as Dozer crosses the fabled Rainbow Bridge. Located in the rough terrains of the Klondike, where the chase of gold frequently overshadows the simpler joys of life, Parker Schnabel and his devoted dog, Dozer, established a friendship that was indisputably genuine and profound. Dozer was Parker's dog. The energetic and devoted companion Dozer had been more than just a pet. He was a part of the team, a buddy, and Parker's unwavering supporter through thick and thin. Dozer had been Parker's company for a long time. Dozer, who was given his name due to his incredible ability to plow through snow, dirt, and anything else that the harsh Alaskan landscape could hurl at them, was an integral element of the mining operation, just like any other piece of heavy machinery. On their voyage, the two individuals were not only interested in finding gold, they were also interested in the moments that occurred in between. These moments included the early mornings when the first rays of the sun painted the snow-capped mountains a beautiful pink, the calm evenings when the northern lights danced across the sky, and every tough day of work that occurred in between. Dazer was never absent, and his presence served as a continual reminder of the unbreakable link of friendship and the undying commitment to fidelity. On the other hand, as the years went by and the seasons changed, the rhythm of life in the harsh wilderness also changed. As time went on, Parker was getting closer and closer to the unavoidable reality that every pet owner must face. In the past, Dozer was a dynamic force of nature. However, it started to exhibit signs of slowing down. The cold seemed to eat at his bones a little more, and his formerly ardent runs evolved into leisurely walks. He found himself walking more and more, in spite of this, his spirit remained unbroken, and his loyalty remained the same. One of those rare and peaceful moments in the Klondike was the day that Dozer crossed across to the other side of the Rainbow Bridge. In a melancholy quiet, the machinery was rendered mute, and the ground was frozen in place. Parker was well aware that it was time for him to part ways with his devoted buddy, his trusting companion, and his confidant. Recollections began to come back to him as he kneeled next to Dozer. The story of a life lived side by side on the frontier between dreams and reality, filled with victories and disappointments, brilliant sunsets and frigid dawns, and everything in between. The dying of Dozer was more than just the death of a pet for Parker. It marked the conclusion of an era in both of their lives. When they were alone in the wilderness, the link that they had formed was a demonstration of the power that can be discovered in companionship and the unspoken understanding that exists between humans and animals. A constant in a world of variables, a source of comfort in times of stress, and a reminder of the small delights that may be found in the midst of the unrelenting search for gold, Dozer had been a constant from the beginning. Parker placed Dozer to rest in a location that overlooked the claim. This was a position where the earth was first touched by dawn, and it was also a place where the peaceful beauty of the wilderness could be experienced in its most unadulterated form. An appropriate final resting place for a dog who had spent his entire life in the dust and glory of a gold mine. A silent guardian of the land and the people who toiled upon it, it was a site where the dog had spent his entire life. As Parker stood up, leaving a long shadow in the waning light, he came to the realization that Dozer's legacy was not only of the experiences that they had enjoyed together, but also of the lessons that Parker had learned by living his life alongside such a devoted friend. 
Through his experiences with Dozer, he had gained knowledge about resiliency, the importance of finding joy in the smallest of things, and the power that comes from having a constant companion. It appeared that the mine had become less noisy in the days that followed, and the gold had lost some of its luster. Nevertheless, the spirit of Dozer continued to live on within Parker Schnabel's very being. The idea that Dozer was roaming free, unburdened by age or pain, waiting for the day when they would meet again was a source of comfort for him. He believed that even beyond the Rainbow Bridge, Dozer was free. The voyage that Dozer took across the Rainbow Bridge served as a powerful reminder of the ephemeral quality of life and the unwavering strength of love. The narrative was not about a loss, but rather about a connection that went beyond the realm of the physical world. It was a demonstration of the reality that certain treasures are not buried in the dirt, but rather carried in the heart. When Parker went back to his search for gold, he took with him the knowledge and love that Dozer had left behind for him. The search for gold would continue, but the experience of having a dog named Dozer as a companion had allowed the search for something that was significantly more valuable to be accomplished. At the end of the day, Parker came to the realization that the most valuable gold was not discovered in the ground, but rather in the moments that were shared and the love that was freely given. This was a legacy that would outshine even the most brilliant nugget. The story of Dozer is a treasure, much like the gold that is buried deep inside the dirt. It serves as a reminder of the unyielding spirit of people who seek not just wealth, but also the